What's up YouTube? It's Kelly. Today I'm going to be doing a product review slash styling slash just an overall look at the Fear of God Essential Hoodies. It's been a couple months now and I've definitely worn these hoodies a lot. I have the black one and I have the green one. Both of these were 120 which isn't the cheapest for a hoodie. But then again, you're not really paying for the hoodie itself. You are paying for Fear of God Essentials. You're paying for the brand name. So I got both of these hoodies in different sizes actually. I got the black one in an extra small. And honestly, these hoodies run really big because this does not fit like an extra small. Like on me, I'm 5'1", five, 5 five feet. This fits me like a medium or large which I don't really mind because I wanted that oversized look. So just keep that in mind if you are gonna buy this. On the cream one, I got extra, extra small, and this still fits a little bit baggy, but definitely not as baggy as black one. So this extra, extra small is a little bit more fitted, but it still gives that relaxed, you know, loose, comfortable hoodie look. And on the website, I was really confused if this was more of like an off-white color or like a true white. It definitely is more of a creamy white color. As for the makeup of the hoodie, I mean, it's pretty simple. This isn't really like black. This is more like a really, really dark blue tone gray. There's nothing in the front. And as for logo, you have essentials on the hood, essentials on the arm. And of course, the biggest thing about the hoodie is you have essentials on the back in reflective writing and i think this is really dope it looks really cool at night and this is probably the main reason why i bought this hoodie because of the reflective writing in the back definitely one of my higher quality hoodies compared to like hoodies i own from aritzia or h&m this is really really thick they kind of fuzz up really easily i think it has to do with how it's 80 percent cotton and 20 percent polyester but these hoodies fuzz up really easily. And because it's really fleecy and it fuzzes up really easily, dust and basically anything like dust, hair, my dog's fur will stick on this hoodie really easily. The cream one, definitely see when a dust or random things stick to a hoodie. You can see all the dust and dirt that sticks on it. If I was to just buy one, I would definitely just buy the black one. I wouldn't buy the cream one because I'm just a really lazy person and I'm also really clumsy. So I get my clothes dirty really easily. So this one is a little bit annoying to wear because if you look at the sleeve too, you can see it's kind of getting dirty just because it is a lighter color. I feel like that's the only thing to keep in mind. It's not really that big of a deal because if you do have a lint roller, you can just lint roll the hoodie. Overall, I love these hoodies. They're really thick. They're really good quality. I think they're really easy to style and the reflective writing on the back gives it like a special touch compared to just your average plain hoodie. <laughs> styling of the fear of god essential hoodies i hope it was helpful and informational for anyone out there who's interested in the hoodies and i hope everyone's doing okay during quarantine i know it can get a little bit boring but yeah stay safe stay home and i will see you in my next video peace bye
on the fear of God. Did you see that? I just messed up. I had these blue. I've had. Oh, blue.